Are you ready to rock, Squidward? No. Good! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amber Rose, also known as The Religious Hippie. You can basically follow me on any social media platform, or you can go straight to my website at thereligioushippie.com. Before we get started in today's video, obviously you know it's going to be a beginner's guide to modesty. I just kind of want to put out there that I know that this can be a hot button topic, and I just want to say that this goes for both men and women, not just for women, and to keep an open mind as we go through these things. So the first thing we're going to go over is what is modesty? Modesty is the practice of humility and simplicity in our appearance, behavior, and speech. It is about dressing in a way that respects your dignity and the dignity of others. However, modesty is not just about covering up. It's also about presenting ourselves in a way that reflects our inner values. So basically, altogether, it just means that we should be respecting ourselves and other people. In Catholicism, we veil things that are sacred in order to show respect for them. In the same way, to respect our dignity as children of God and to show our sacredness, we should cover ourselves. We don't don't cover our bodies because they're bad, we cover our bodies because they're good. There is this quote from St. Alphonsus Liguori that I absolutely love. He states, We must practice modesty not only in our looks, but also in our whole deportment, and particularly in our dress, our walk, our conversations, and all similar actions. Now, I think we've all experienced the whole skirt below your fingertips type thing, or lift your arms up to see if your shirt's too short. Now, I'm not trying to discount these things, because they are essential in professional and spiritual environments. However, I also believe people can take modesty to an unhealthy standard as well. Modesty isn't this puritanical type thing that everybody makes it out to be. So basically, you don't have to cover your entire body. The whole thing is, is that you just want to do it in a way that's becoming and appropriate. Modesty also looks different for different body types. For example, I'm 5'6", so a dress that comes just above the knee on me could become a thigh dress for somebody who's more like 5'9". God created so many different beautiful body types. We can't just squeeze everybody into one modesty box and expect it to work. Modesty is going to look different for everybody. So now I kind of want to get into why modesty is important. Modesty is important because it helps us avoid the temptation to objectify ourselves and others. By dressing modestly, we communicate that we respect ourselves and others as children of God. The same thing goes for our speech and actions. We can communicate modesty of the mind, soul, and body through our actions, words, and appearances. We can communicate modesty by not using swear words, by being kind to others, and dressing appropriately in certain circumstances. This helps us to respect the boundaries of our relationships and friendships, and to create a culture of respect and dignity. However, I want to throw in here that many times people will claim the reason to be modest is to avoid leading other people into sin. Now, I think this is a fairly good reason, however, let's say you're wearing a normal jeans and a t-shirt and some guy lusts after you. That's absolutely not your fault. We should never sum up modesty to just being not wanting to trip up our brothers and sisters in Christ. It is so much more than that. It's about the way we view ourselves and the way that we communicate that to the world. It's about how we respect and honor the bodies that God gave us. We shouldn't be modest because of its potential consequences, but because it's good for its own sake. So don't just be modest because you're afraid of leading other people into sin. Be modest because you respect yourself and you love God. Remember that modesty is not about wearing a potato sack or hiding. It's about presenting yourself in a way that reflects the dignity you have as a child of God. Growing up, my parents really tried to instill the dignity and modesty mindset into me, but because at that point I had already been exposed to social media and the friends I were hanging out with weren't wearing the most modest clothing, I felt like I needed to be that way in order to fit in. During this time, I was also in and out of a abusive friendships and relationships who only really liked me for the way that I looked, and a lot of the times I would just throw my morals to the wind in order to make them happy. While the clothes I wore weren't the worst things I could have picked out in terms of being a modest dress, it still did impact the way I viewed myself and how others respected me. I was constantly sexualized by my male peers, and my female peers would bully me and call me almost every name you could possibly imagine. At one point, there was actually even an Instagram page made about me, and they would post pictures of me, and then on the pictures itself, there were names, and I'm not going to repeat those names on here because this is a family-friendly channel. Because I didn't respect myself and my actions, my words, and my appearance communicated that, 
nobody else respected me either. It was a really rough road when I came back into my faith because I knew I had this call to dress modestly and I went through my entire closet and I just purged everything. I might've been a little extreme, but now I have found a very good balance and I really enjoy dressing modestly. A lot of the times I go on Pinterest to just find different styles that I like to test things out. So then when I go thrifting, I can look for those specific things. I'm still on my modesty journey and I will be for a very long time, but here are some tips on how you guys can get started in your own modesty journey. When you're getting dressed, ask yourself, Am I presenting myself in a way that respects my dignity and the dignity of others? All you need is a little practice and modesty will start becoming second nature to you. Purge your closet. I would not suggest purging everything like I did three years ago, but I would do a little try on kind of session, see what works and what doesn't, what you feel comfortable in, what you don't. When you're going through your closet, you want to get rid of anything that's blatantly immodest. This could be extremely high cropped crop tops, see-through clothing or clothing that you would put over a bra but your bra is still visible, spaghetti strap shirts that aren't undershirts, and booty shorts of course. I'm not saying that you have to get rid of all of your comfy clothes. I still have quite a few comfy clothes that I wear around the house, but make sure you make a pact with yourself that you won't post yourself in those outfits on social media and you won't go out in public in those outfits. You can then go on to Amazon or you can go on to Pinterest and you can get some inspo and then once you have the inspo and the pieces are all written out that you are looking for, you can go thrifting or you know, just collect your modest wardrobe as you go. It does not have to be an overnight, suddenly you purge your closet and all of your new modest wardrobe comes in. It's it's a process. It's something that you work up over time. So don't overwhelm yourself all at once trying to get your wardrobe in order. When you're practicing modesty, remember that modesty is also a form of humility. So do your best in social settings not to boast or talk about yourself a ton. Unless of course somebody specifically asks. But even when somebody does ask, we should always talk about ourselves in a very modest fashion. If you see something that is causing you to lust, divert your eyes and offer that person up to God. We should remember that those people are somebody's mother, somebody's daughter, husband, son, brother, uncle, etc. And they are all children of God. When I'm at church and I see someone dressed very inappropriately, I will say, Jesus, I do not know what they need, but you do. Please help them. And then I move on with my day. Okay guys, with all of that being said, that was my beginner's guide to modesty. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye! We must practice modesty not only in our looks, but also in our whole department. Deportment? We're deporting people?